this is part 4 of a payroll management software in this video we will create a change password screen for user okay for that uh, right click on user folder add windows form here give form name form change password click on add button Now change this text here. It will be change password. Okay, now I have to design this form. I need four label and then text box. First one will be username, password, and the third label will be new password, and the fourth one confirm password. Now I have completed design for this change password screen. I have given name for this um, text boxes, text to use. You can see your text username, text old password, text new password, confirm password. Okay. Now uh, here I used two buttons. One is um, change and the second one is cancel button okay now uh, we want to implement key down even for this text boxes okay let's start from username text box go to events here um, key down double click here if e dot key code equals keys dot enter if text uh, username dot text length length greater than zero means it will focus on text password old password else it focus on text box username Like this, I have to write code for these remaining text boxes, old password, new and confirm password. Okay, now I have, I wrote code for uh, this key down event for remaining text boxes. In confirm text box, if I press enter key, it should focus on change button. Okay, like that I have written code. Okay, now before that we have to call this uh, change for password form in form main screen yeah go to change password double click here here i just copy this code and pasting here your form name will be form change password okay save this and uh, let's start the application click login here go to change password here we have the change password screen by default gazer is focus on confirm password okay it should focus on username text box okay change that now and change password screen double click here in load event this dot active control Role equal text username okay now we will write a code for this cancel button first this dot close let's check this okay now um, by default cursor focus on username text box okay now click this cancel button okay the form is closed now we will write code for this um, change button um, first uh, it to change the password first we have to confirm from the user whether they want to change the first password or not for that we will use dialog box 
your message will be are you sure you want to change password message title will be message and then here we are having two buttons with yes and no message box icon will be question if dialog result s yes means first we will check um, with the username they given username old password new and confirm password first we have to check whether this username uh, is belongs to our user table or not for that first call that public connection class then use data get method inside that first we have to verify whether this username is already exist or not select one from user table in where condition we have to give this username and the old password username equals text username dot text and password single quote double quote within plus text old password dot text then we are declaring data table object dt equal to new object data table your cn dot sda dot fill dt if dt dot rows dot count greater than zero means if that username already exist means first we have to check uh, new password and confirm password these two text boxes will match each other if they are not match each other we have to um, inform the user um, password is mismatch like that first before that if username um, already exist means it will be greater than zero else we have to show the message for that we will use error provider here here error provider dot set error inside that text uh, new password sorry text username come on within double quote we have to specify the message please check username and password for text uh, username and uh, this will apply for text password also old password inside this if text new password dot text which is equal to text uh, confirm password dot text means if they not matching each other means will show the error message inside this error provider set error your text uh, new password and the uh, error message will be password mismatch Okay, copy this line and pasting below that your text uh, confirm password. Okay, now uh, come here. Um, if both the text box values are matching means first we have to check the text box length because in user register screen uh, we mentioned validation password minimum four character required. So if text uh, new password dot text dot length is greater than three okay else we will show the error message error provider dot set error inside that text new password yeah please provide please enter minimum four character password okay 
your validations are completed now everything is fine means we will update the uh, password in user table okay for that see one that we will call the method data send for update operation inside double quote here update table name is user set here we are updating the password field equals it will be text and new password dot text in where condition we have to give username and password username equals text username dot text and password it should be old password text old password dot text okay after updating the password we should um, display the message that is our password changed successfully and message title will be message here we have single button which is ok button okay message box icon will be information okay save this and let's start the application now there is an error okay start the application again click login here change password screen here password will be sorry username will be admin password admin 123 in these three text boxes we mentioned password character as asterisk sorry new password will be admin 27 um, click this change button it's asking confirmation message are you sure you want to change password click s yes. password changed successfully okay now close this form exit the application okay now again run the application here username password is old or one click login it will show the error message invalid username and password because we changed the password for this username admin if i enter correct password with admin 27 click login okay now we are in main screen okay that's working fine now okay friends in our next video we'll discuss um, related to employee details and we will create the screen for that okay thank you for watching this one